In this video, we are going to discuss about the settings that go on uh, before we need to record a meeting on Zoom. So this is a Zoom app that I have opened on my PC. In order to customize the settings for the recordings, we need to go on to the settings option. So this cork symbol that is just below the profile icon is settings. Let's just click on that. In this setting, we have different options. So let's just click on recording. Now this would give you all the options that Zoom offers for customizing the recordings of the meetings. So the first thing is the location. This is by default the location where all your Zoom recordings would be stored. If you want, you can just open it up and that would show you the different recordings over here. Let's just close this. If you want to change this location, you can change it as well. But this is the by default location. So I would recommend you just go with it. Um, then uh, there is an option to choose a location for the recorded files when the meeting ends. So if you don't want all of your files to be going into the same location, the same default location, but you want them at some other place, then you can choose this option wherein every time your meeting is recorded, you would be given an option to choose that where those recordings would be stored. Uh, next option is choose a separate audio file for each participant, which means a separate audio file for each individual participant would be created. So you can analyze actually what that particular participant is saying throughout the meeting. Uh, optimize for third party video editor. That means if you want to later on edit your videos that you can edit using this option. Uh, if you want to add a timestamp for the recording that also you can uh, add using this option. Uh, if you want that when someone is sharing the screen, do you want to record the video at that time as well? Then you can keep on this uh, option checked. Otherwise, you can uncheck it. Or uh, if you want to keep uh, the temporary recording files which are not needed and just the junk files. So you can just keep those recordings as uh, those files as well. So these were about the recording settings. This would also show you how much space that is available for storing your recorded files. This uh, version that I'm using is a free version, but in the case of the paid version, you would also get an option wherein you can choose to store your recorded files onto the cloud space. So that is a much more convenient option that uh, helps save the local memory. Now let us see how can we actually record meetings in Zoom. Uh, so herein I have uh, created a Zoom meeting and then in order to record it, there is this record option. I can just click on this and you can see uh, that right now I'm the only participant and I'm muted. So it gives me an option that whether I want to include audio in my recording or I just want to unmute myself so that actually something is recorded in the audio part. So let's just click on unmute myself. And now you can see the mic icon is glowing over here a little bit green. That means whatever I'm saying that audio is also being recorded on the top left icon you can see a recording option here is this pause recording option and the stop recording option if you click on pause recording the recording would be paused and you can resume it anytime so let's just pause and you can see uh, that recording paused is being shown over here if i just want to resume it i can resume it as well similarly i can just uh, perform all these actions from here also like stop recording and I will get a notification that the recorded file will be converted to mp4 when the meeting ends. So uh, not only the file needs to be recorded, it also needs to be converted into an mp4 file so that we can actually view it. So let's just end the meeting for all so that how uh, we can see how this uh, conversion actually happens. So this is how the conversion is being happening. The meeting recording is being converted. And when you convert the meeting recording, these are the kind of the files that you will get the MP4 file, which stores the video, the audio file, which stores the audio and the configuration file. If any of the chats happen during that time, then all those chats are also recorded and are stored as a text file. So this is what you get automatically when you record a meeting in Zoom. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.